Back at the three up, three down farm with former major league pitcher Dan Plesak. I like uh, your gigs. Yeah, these are, these are, this is. You're going to get a full dose of training standard breads because rain, sleet, or shine, they go out every day, so. This is, this is pickup this clothing. This is Mitch Robinson gear right here. You're going to come up with a new line of clothing. I, actually, I like that. Actually, in Indiana, this is pickup clothing. That's right. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pickup number one, Ronnie Wu Wu. He's going to go out for his daily. On a day that they're not going training miles, which is a day like today, okay. they will go out and they will what we call in the horse racing genre, he's going to jog four miles. He's going to go out and go four miles today on the track, which I have a half mile training track. So okay. Ronnie will go around eight times. We're going to bring Ronnie out in the aisle way right now. Which end do I not want to be near? The oh, back Ronnie's end? fine. Okay. I don't have one horse here of these four that as far as you have to worry about uh, getting bit or getting kicked. They're all pretty good. Ronnie kind of dances around a little bit here in the aisleway, but uh, he's a good boy. Hi, Ronnie. Just trying to get to know uh, Ronnie Woo Woo a little bit. You know what? The refreshing thing is that this Ronnie Woo Woo actually has more teeth than the real Ronnie Woo Woo. Yes, he does. How many hours is it a day do you uh, do you spend with these horses getting them ready? Well, all, it, it, it takes me on a normal day to get four horses, bring them out, get them done, about three hours. How much harder is it for you as a pitcher when you had problems? You had control, it was you doing. Well, that, that's, the what, that's what makes this so difficult is once you take them there on a race night, really what they do is out of your hands because they can't talk, they can't tell you what's bothering them, if it's a right front foot, if it's a, a left hind leg. And with pitching, at least you had somebody to blame. You could blame yourself or blame your catcher if you're going through a really bad spell. You never did that, did you? Uh, well, I would always blame my catchers, especially when you had one of those days like one inning, six hits, five runs, all earned. It, it was I Charlie wasn't disappointed. O'Brien's fault. It was Charlie, because he was telling the hitters what was coming. <laughs> I was convinced. There was no way in hell that I could give up six consecutive hits. But I had a theory. I never gave up more than three hits in my career. And I learned early on from a veteran pitcher, Pete Vukovic, that told me after you give up three consecutive hits, that's when you fake that you pull a hamstring. <laughs> They'll come get you out of the game, so <laughs> you won't be out there for eight consecutive hits. Okay, this is this is the racing gear or workout gear that all standard breads wear. This would be technically called his harness. This is what will keep the bike from not sliding forward or back. Mm -hmm. This will be able to help us keep control of Ronnie in case... He doesn't like this, does he? Oh, yeah, he just gets a little nervous. This is kind of his thing where he knows <laughs> he's going to go out and do something. So he'll start biting the chains or he'll start rocking back and forth. This is Ronnie's headgear. This is his bridle. Um, he wears a pretty simple bridle during the mornings when he's working out. These blue cheeks on the side are called can't see back cheeks. That way... Uh, he can't look back and see you on the jog cart um, and spook from things off to the side. And this blue thing here across his nose is a shadow roll. This keeps Ronnie from it. Every once in a while, he'll see shadows during the daytime coming from the trees that go across the track. And, and horses, they, they see things with bright or dark. And sometimes they can't distinguish what that shadow is. They think it's something laying on the ground and they'll try to jump it. This keeps Ronnie from where, when he's running, he can't see anything below the middle part of his face. He can't see anything down, so all he sees is straight out ahead. My wife would like me to have that when we oh, go Oh yeah. yeah, well yeah, ex exactly, <laughs> and you probably should. Okay, now this is the jog cart, the bike that you'll be sitting on with me. We're gonna go around, the plan is today, Ronnie's really very mild-mannered. I'm gonna go a couple of laps on with you, and then when I feel like it's safe, you're gonna fly solo. When you feel like it's safe. Yeah. See um, me see me drive running down I-65 with Ronnie Wu. It'll be okay though. <laughs> just head just whatever you do, head north. That's that's going towards home towards Chicago. <laughs> so if you, if he takes off heading south towards West Lafayette, yeah. just turn him around. Go to the next exit ramp, get off and just turn him around. <laughs>